You mentioned your daughter. Have you got pets at home? You I a had a dog. You had a dog? I don't know what happened. <laughs> Just, no. I had a dog. Uh, she was, uh, I loved my dog. Yeah. I was one of those people, I used to make out with my dog. Really? You know, just like hold her down and, you know. Yeah. I used to peel her lips back and lick her teeth. That's right. the kind of dog. The little doggy. I think that's I'm why to understand we love the divorce now. Yeah, oh, sure. Yeah. yeah. But that's why people love dogs, because no human being will let you, like, choke them and, you know, I love you. And right. the, the dog's like, okay, I guess this is part of it for the food or whatever. And I just put up with it. Yeah. But my dog, uh, I remember I took her to the vet once, and, the, and it was when I first got her, and the right. dog, and the vet was giving me, you know, overall instructions, and he said, don't let her eat dark, dark chocolate. I don't know if you know this, but... If That's right, dog, dogs are not... Yeah, okay. Yeah, they, right. eat, they die if they eat dark chocolate. Okay. It's poison. Right. So, uh, some, funny to somebody. But anyway, uh, <laughs> all the dark chocolate for me! But so... Uh, I asked the do doctor, what do you do? And he said, if, if she does eat dark chocolate, you have very little time to get some hydrogen peroxide into her. It foams up in her belly and she throws it up. It's the only really? thing that works, but you gotta do it really fast. Okay, so like two months later, I come home, I had friends over, staying right. over, dark chocolate, they left dark chocolate out. And I come home and the dog's just got a chocolate face and there's wrappers. And I go, ah! And she looks at me like, they left it out, I'm a dog. Right, right. What, what am I gonna do? You know how that works. And I go, you're gonna die! And she's like, why are you still mad? I said, I'm sorry. <laughs> so I'm thinking, I gotta get hydrogen peroxide into my dog. I don't have any, so I gotta run to the pharmacy. There's no time to go there and back. So I put her on a leash and I'm running to the pharmacy and she's like, hey, this is, she's having a ball. Right. We get to the pharmacy and I get a bottle of hydrogen peroxide and I'm on the street with my dog right. and I need to make her drink a <laughs> bottle of hydrogen peroxide. <laughs> It hadn't occurred to me, how do you, you don't just go, here you get the dog's like, totally. Yeah. You got to uh, get the dog. All right, all right. So I take her face and I pour, she's like, <laughs> and she looks at me like, I'm not into it. All right. And so I grab her and, and she's like, she looks at me like, what, what happened to you? What, what is this? <laughs> and I, I'm holding her like this, she's thrashing like an alligator and I'm pouring it in her face and she gets loose and she looks at me like, our, our thing's over. We are not friends anymore. I'm a dog. And she starts going, Arr! and she's biting me. So I'm literally punching her in the face and squirting this stuff. And I look and there's hundreds of people just staring, <laughs> horrified. Oh, horrified. <laughs> And somehow I got enough in her, and she went, duk, 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 and it all came out. And she lived. She got hit by a truck two years later. But anyway, oh, she... Oh, she, <laughs> oh, oh I'm, so, I'm sorry to hear about this. Sorry, it's true. But, uh, now yeah, you, she's dead. Now, your special...